Well, when we were children, we were hearing about it right from the get-go. I, I remember it as far back as I can think. That they were in the store restocking for Monday, Saturday night, doing the usual close-up, um, counting the money, putting things away, getting things organized, getting ready to bring home all the f fresh fruits and vegetables because they had no refrigeration. And two guys came through the front door and Grandpa was bent over picking up a sack of potatoes and the guy said, we got you now, and shot him in the back. That uh, Joe Hill was the one that killed him. And then John tried to help and took the gun out of the cooler and shot Joe Hill in the chest. With it. I believe it was in the chest with it. And of course, didn't kill him, injured him. And then we thought the gentleman with him was uh, Otto Applequist, and he shot and killed John. It was a hard loss for a young family. And it had its effects on us, the next generation, definitely. And Arling never made it out of the store. Grandpa, they got to the operating table in, in the hospital, and he died there. Um, and my dad was behind some shelves, basically, and saw the whole thing. but you know, froze. He was 13, so. The police came. Um, they um, took my father home, okay? And they were, they only lived just a few blocks or two blocks or something from where the store was. Um, He was very, very much affected by that his whole life. I think that I should have had the right to meet my grandfather, but uh, I didn't because of the dastardly act of Joe Hill. In so many cases, we hear about the person who commits the murder or the event, and we don't know what happens to the family afterward. We don't hear about that. Nobody seems to be interested. Here's Joe Hill re rearing his ugly head again. And uh, there's a story of events. It didn't really anger me, but it made me kind of tired of hearing that when I felt that Joe Hill got his just desserts when the governor of the United state told the President of the United States to keep his nose out of the state of Utah and went ahead and ordered Joe Hill executed. And I felt that that should have ended it, but it hasn't. Generation after generation, why do they have to keep dragging it on? It just stirs it up for us. Oh, poor Joe Hill, he was innocent. Innocent like hell. He wasn't a hero until he died and they made him a hero. They used him as a hero for their cause. Maybe the rules of evidence are a little bit different now, and the rule of law is a little bit different, but they fit together pretty solidly back there in 1914. Yeah, it's, it's like it is always. It was like when they wanted to rename Sugar House Park after Joe Hill. It was like, really? The guy was a criminal. Why? It just got old. Stories as my dad told me and he repeated them time and time again and it was always the same. It never really changed. You know, that's the thing if I've found in, in my life, if somebody's lying, they can never remember what they said. So <laughs> the story will change. And I mean, it never changed. It was always consistently the same. He only knows his own generation forever remains a child. And so I would like my ancestry and my progeny to know that, uh, of this story. This is our grandfather we were deprived of knowing and a wonderful uncle that my father idolized and he lost him.